Hey everyone, Diego from Monster Ride here with a really neat unboxing for you guys. We were fortunate enough to be sent a Vibrasonic memory foam mattress by Beyond Sleep to review, which Joe is working on right now, and I'm here to show you guys our putting it together and some immediate first impressions. And I do want to preface and apologize that our top-down video footage got corrupted and we didn't realize it until much later into the video editing process. So I apologize for most of these being close-up shots and, and this face. Quick introduction to the bed. This is the Vibersonic by Beyond Sleep. It's a memory foam mattress with an adjustable bed frame and built-in subwoofers with two satellite speakers that are also included. It's meant to be sort of like an extension of your media center as they can connect via Bluetooth to your devices and is supposed to give kind of a more immersive experience when playing games or watching movies or even just to relax them with music like ambient rain effects and stuff. And for transparency, we were sent the queen size mattress, which currently retails for just over $3,000. And I believe it's half off on their side as the moment of this recording. Um, their smallest size is a twin XL, which goes for about $2,300. And their largest is a California King that'll set you back a pretty hefty $4,600. Um, and both the King and the California King can be ordered as a split mattress so that you and your partner can adjust the mattress to each own's preferences with the, with the adjustable bed frame. So first thing out of the box is the frame. And I can't stress enough to please have a second person there to help because this thing's heavy. Like... It, it's a struggle. It was a struggle to just get it into the apartment and getting it out and unfolding it was, it's a two person, even possibly a three person job. It's, it's heavy. And so after unfolding the frame, first step is to screw in the six legs that actually come in three size variations, two inch, three inch, and then an eight inch. And as you can see here, you can unscrew them into whatever variation you really want. And it's a little nice to have this many size options. Like I've messed around with a couple bed frames in the past and I have never had one. They gave me three height options to play around with. So this is actually a bit nice to see. Now, once all the legs are screwed in, don't let all the wiring of the inner frame scare you. Thankfully, it's all set up for you. So you're free to flip that frame over once the legs are set up. Here you'll see a few USB ports and you can plug in phone chargers or whatever you want into it. And there's a hub box where everything is already plugged in for you in advance. And there are some additional slots in there that I'm assuming are from higher tier mattresses. Uh, again, we got the queen and it didn't come with any of the extra wires that clearly are labeled here. Um, but you'll see the little LED strips are again, already set up for you they're plugged in they're attached to the frame uh, i would only really recommend some tie wraps to really tighten up the cable management it, it already comes pretty decently managed um it's just you could it could be better right um it and i'm not gonna fault uh beyond sleep for that like it's already pretty tied up and uh condensed but like with just a few extra tie wraps on your own, you can just adjust it perfectly to how you want it. But yeah, Beyond Sleep did a pretty good job out of the box. Like besides the extra tie wraps that tighten up the cable management, like 10 minutes really? Like you just pull the thing out of the box, screw the legs in and flip it over, you're good to go. And here's the finished frame. What you're seeing here is the bed frame's zero, zero G mode, which is perfect if you have your tv across from where the bed is as it raises your body into perfect viewing position like the way i have my room set up my bed is like parallel to the tv so it honestly made me wish i had my bed like looking directly at it um like joe does because we set it up at his house um, as you can see it actually moves into position fairly quickly which is nice and the remote's pretty straightforward with what button does what uh, you've got the flat option, which will flatten it out, obviously, the zero G mode. And then there's a couple little extra buttons that will raise certain parts of the frame. So like if you only want the legs up, you can have it raise the legs up. Um, same thing with the head of the mattress. And here you can see me flip through a variety of RGB options that you can adjust to your liking. I'm a bit preferable to the blue. And don't forget, don't forget the mattress stopper like we very nearly did. 
uh, this bar slides into place on the footer of the frame and pretty much just helps hold the mattress in place while the frame is moving. And just for fun, here's me lying on the frame, and I'm not going to recommend you lay on the frame as it is, or even walk on it like I totally didn't do. But I wanted to test how sturdy it was, and I'm around 140, 150 pounds, and the thing's pretty damn solid. Um, I had to reach the other side for some cables to plug in, and I had I had to walk on, I had to walk on the frame, it was the best way to get over there. And I was walking on it pretty confidently. Like it was, that thing is solid. Uh, again, I don't recommend it. I'm sure there's a disclaimer in the pamphlet that encourages you not to do it. But I did do it. And if you're worried about the frame being flimsy or anything, uh, no concerns there. That thing is a rock. Now, the mattress feels pretty good honestly like for reference i i personally i sleep on a purple mattress just the standard one which i say is about in the middle between like super soft and super firm and the vibrasonic leans a little bit more on the softer side compared to that one and while i prefer the middle ground when it comes to mattresses i really enjoyed laying on the vibrasonic like i could definitely be convinced for going in a softer mattress direction after laying on it for the little bit that I got to lay on it. Um, the mattress itself, it comes rolled up and once it's like released from the plastic, which again, apologies for us losing that video, um, it should just unfold and stretch out and just inflate to its proper size. Here you can see me on the finish bed with the speakers and subwoofers. Uh, depending if we have to mute this section or not, uh, the subwoofers are blasting Dragon Force. Because uh, we figured, why not, let's just test the silliest song possible. If you look closely, you can actually see the bed vibrate from the song's bass. It's honestly a bit of a surreal experience. And we twisted quite a few different types of songs, like Dragon Force. Uh, we did the Tokyo Drift song, some uh, Ghost and a couple others, and depending on the song, um, I actually found the vibrations from the subwoofer to sometimes be more relaxing than something, than something like ambient rain sounds. And I could definitely see someone making like a song playlist specifically for laying on this bed, because the more rhythmic the bass, the better it just feels as you're laying on it. And so the mattress comes with a built-in subwoofer and two satellite speakers that you can attach to a wall or a shelf, whatever you want. Uh, you'll receive the speakers along with a, a hub box and a power block to plug into. And additionally, you'll have a second remote that controls the audio from the subwoofer speakers along with massage options that are in the mattress. Uh, as someone who gets migraines pretty often, the massage setting on the mattress was actually probably the most enticing feature. Um, I actually had a slight bit of a headache while setting the mattress up and just laying on it for a little bit with the massage mode was actually helping, already helping like a bit. And the way this, the massage mode works is it just, the whole mattress itself is just kind of just vibrating in a, like a rhythmic way. But going back to setting up the speakers, like the frame, it's super simple. Uh, at the head of the bed is a slight opening where you can plug both of the speakers into along with two cables from the hub box. Uh, everything's pretty clearly labeled and it's pretty obvious to see what plugs where. The hub box is then connected to the power block, which then of course goes into the wall outlet. Um, I would like to note that I'd make sure you spend some time finding the right amount of cable to keep loose uh, from the mattress to the hub box because as you use the remote settings to raise or lower the bed frame, particularly specifically the head of the frame where all of those cables are plugged into, uh, the cables are also raising up and down with it, right? Uh, so the last thing you want is to not keep too much cable hanging. So like if you raise into zero G mode, for example, and that head is going up, the cables are dragging, getting dragged up with it. And if you don't have much slack there, it's whole, the hub box is being dragged up, which then will put pressure 
at the cables. Uh, from our immediate testing, we just kept, it doesn't look pretty, but keeping a generous amount of cable loose uh, seemed to be the best option. But all in all, the entire process is pretty damn easy to set up. From the frame to the speakers, I honestly expected to be fighting with the wiring, having to figure out what cable goes where. But Beyond Sleep did a pretty great job having everything just ready right out of the box. As expected, we tested some games on it. Uh, it really depends on the kind of game uh, you're playing uh, to really get the benefits of the mattress. Like, Mario's not going to be great, right? Cyberpunk 2077, though, the guns firing, the explosions going off, having the two satellite speakers behind you, um, and then the subwoofer and the mattress itself really took full advantage of the mattress. Uh, and really, like, in a way that really surprised me, helped immerse you into the game. Like, it's it's a bit of a buzzword, but it... it it genuinely did feel a lot cooler playing a game with the mattress. Uh, we also tested Jurassic Park on it, and you could feel the dinosaurs um, breathing through the mattress, which was very cool. And I could definitely see myself watching movies instead of at my couch, on my bed. And here's the final match with the sheet on it as it goes into zero-g mode. Uh, make sure to not make the mistake we initially did where we had the mattress semi-flush to the wall because um, it's just going to smack into any currents or blinds that you'll have uh, if, if your bed is near a window uh, like Joe's is. Um, give it a bit of space, anywhere from half a foot to a full foot. Uh, it's it's going to really depend on your home setup. Uh, even if you just have the wall there, I probably wouldn't keep it flush to the wall because uh, it's still like smacking into the wall. You you want a bit of space there, especially since you have the cables hanging from the head of the mattress. Uh, additionally, if you have any small pets, keep an eye on the spacing that's created between the mattress and the frame uh, when it adjusts, because eventually the mattress kind of forms to the frame but there's still a big enough space for a small cat or dog to want to hop in. Uh, so I'd keep an eye on any pets that you might have that might want to test squeezing in there. But overall, first impressions of the Vibrasonic from Beyond Sleep are really good. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just that I'm getting old or what, but I remember always making fun of folk who had adjusting bed frames like this when I was younger. And laying in the Vibersonic for the little bit of time that I could uh, kind of made me a believer. I was sitting there like, oh, this is actually a bit of a game changer. Like, this is nice. Uh, maybe it is the age getting to me. But it, it was really nice. Uh, we'll have a full review coming soon that Joe's working on. And we'll eventually have a follow-up, like a six months down the road. So you can see how it's holding up. Uh, but so far, high price tag aside, I'm pretty impressed with the Vibersonic. This is definitely a bit of a niche thing right off the bat because it's this is for someone who wants to really elevate the media space in their bedroom, right? Like it is an it's going to be an extension of your television and game console setup. Um, and if you really want to just be more into the game or the movie or even just listening to music on like laying down and playing music this is i could this is a very enticing mattress right um but the high it is just the high price tag is that immediate like roadblock where it's like how worth it is it to you and for some folk it'd probably be pretty worth it. For others, they might want to hold off. But so far, like just the couple hours I got to mess around with it while at Joe's helping set it up, it's a pretty fun little thing. And just to top things off, here's a little cat tax to show you the lighting once more. And if you want to see more content from us, subscribe to Monstervine. Go to monstervine.com where you'll be able to see the review should be posted pretty soon after this video is up. 
uh, and check out more reviews, previews. We have a Twitter, TikTok. Just follow us everywhere for more of us. Thank you.